the first time in over 60 years, the lower church of Regina Pachas sang Alleluia, its pews overflowing. It's really what it's supposed to be, and it's great that it's going back to do that again. After decades of serving just as a bingo hall and a basement, the holy space was revived to its former glory. Not only a chapel, but a columbarium, the first in the Diocese of Brooklyn. I think it's a good, good sign that we are going to use worship space. Again, there's a double purpose here, that there are a columbarium along the sides, uh, so that the people, if they wish to deposit the cremains of their beloved, they're here, and it's a nice place, they can come for Mass. Uh, it's an, in, in a church. It's a, there's, this has been done around the country. It's not the only place that this, but it's a unique for our diocese. In April, I visited with the pastor, Monsignor Marino, and saw the space peacefully retiring before its time. And the results are simply divine. I deliberately didn't come to see it because I wanted to see it new, like the, for the first time today, and I'm just thrilled. I am so thrilled. It is beautiful. And now, only seven months later, St. Joseph's Chapel and Columbarium is almost ready. I have Sicilian strong will, and I pushed everybody around to get it done quickly, and they were wonderful. The contractors, the architects, everybody was just wonderful and uh, you're working with a, a beautiful building anyway mm -hmm. so it became easier to to get it done. The renovations finishing up just in time for All Saints and All Souls Day. Many saints before us built this church lower and upper and uh, I'm sure they're looking down on us with pleasure. Monsignor Marino had special instructions for the chapel hoping to make it a final resting spot and a place of peace close to home. My instructions were, I do not want a cemetery in a church. I want a church with a columbarium in it. And it gives me the opportunity to restore that church to what it was or similar to what it was when this was built and to put the columbarium in there. And parishioners say that's exactly what the chapel is, a warmth so often not associated with death a place they plan to be and earned. It'll be like church, and when you come, it'll be like coming to church and not just, you know, not just going to a cemetery. It's going to be beautiful. Not only a place of dignity and respect, St. Joseph's Chapel is an economical choice. Well, it's an option. It's something, an alternative we have in our cemeteries. Uh, we have ample space there, but this, we'll see what happens as it develops. So we. We're giving a 10-year moratorium. We're not going to do any others for at least for 10 years to see how this works. Traditional Catholic burials can cost upwards of $15,000. Our cremation and a burial of the ashes here will begin at $5,000. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.